a beautiful vision of life. I have concluded that everything in the whole creation is the compound of concrete and abstract. Our body and soul, our matter and energy, our prakriti and purush. In Indian mythology, the matter is symbolized as sati or sakti, the female. Whereas the energy is symbolized as siva, the male, both are inseparable at the earliest point of time when both of them are known to be meeting as distinct to be so, how they interacted and manifested their being into human form and activities is beautifully expressed in the following poem composed by me. This venture in ancient literature emerged into a beautiful and healthy way of human life that remains unparalleled in the world cultures. The tale of Kailas Yatra Two deviated and separated souls identify each other on the whole. What a spiritual telepathy they share, how the works of chance and coincidence fare, how their faith and love strengthens, and the string of the fate and providence fastens. Let me show all this through this tale, how they proceed towards Kailas without fail. Suddenly, Sati impressed upon Shiva to meet, and Shiva, without much heed, went on that beat. Both met and proceeded unknown to go where. Sati asked Shiva, Are we going to Kailas fair? Shiva was smitten by the tool of surprise. As he had the same thought in surmise, thus their common intention to reach Kailas boosted, they strengthened by coincidence proceeded. Sati, though hesitant earlier, was petrified to see the sanctity of the place. While she tried to make her realize the beauty and its trace, the being of Shiva sublime got expressed through different activities there. Sati was amazed and elevated to behold it so and rare. She witnessed first time the bliss and positivity of Shiva and his world of living. She was stunned by the unimaginable positivity and austerity of his being. She dedicated herself in supplication, placing her head on Shiva's feet clear, and in servility picked his sandals to get him wear, kissed and sucked the Shiva link to show her faith, affirming that Shiva was her god beneath. She started fasting on Mondays in Sraman, thus making Shiva extend his concern.